we can tie in this model with another when we come back to the digestive board here. And when we look at the digestive board, specifically this region right here, where we see the stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas, what we're going to see here is the contents of the stomach eventually are going to go into the duodenum. This is the first part of the small intestine here. And this is a very important region right here because what happens is secretions from the gallbladder, we'll call it bile, coming all the way down, eventually leading into the common bile duct, that's the green duct that you see here, are going to meet up with the main pancreatic duct secretions at this structure right here. This little structure where they meet is called the hepatopancreatic ampulla. Hepato from the term liver, pancreatic from the pancreas, and an ampulla is a sac-like opening. So again, common bile duct comes down here, main pancreatic duct comes across here, the hepatopancreatic ampulla is right here, and those secretions, bile and pancreatic juices, are going to come out of the major duodenal papilla. That's the structure that I'm tapping right here. Major, because it's got lines coming from two different structures. Duodenal, because it's coming from, or it's going into the duodenum. And papilla, because a papilla is a nipple-like structure. Think of a baby's bottle and the nipple on the bottle squirting out milk. That's what's going to happen right here. We also see on this model the accessory pancreatic duct in white. And that accessory pancreatic duct is only going to secrete the pancreatic juices and enzymes and secretions that are coming in from the pancreas and going into the duodenum right here at the minor duodenal papilla. So you've got secretions coming from here and you have secretions coming from here as well. Into the duodenum, again you can see the plica circularis, these are the ridge-like structures that are throughout our digestive system. But these secretions are very important because as chyme is moving from our stomach emptying those contents into the intestines here, it really does have to be prepared before it moves into the rest of the digestive system because at this point, as we get further down, we're really going to need to properly absorb that material. And in order to do that, it's got to, it's got to be broken down or have the enzymes available to break it down from the beginning. If I bring this model a little bit closer, again, just to show you a little bit more detail, right hepatic duct, left hepatic duct, common hepatic duct. This is the gallbladder, the cystic duct, and the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct lead into the common bile duct. They're both carrying bile. That's the same common bile duct that you see coming down here, which meets up with the main pancreatic duct, the one that loops down like this. And these two together squirt out bile and other digestive enzymes from the pancreas from the major duodenal papilla. And again, the accessory pancreatic duct would be squirting into the duodenum at the minor duodenal papilla.